now from Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, the 1989 NBA State Championships. Today, the Men's Singles Championship. In our first round, our third seed, Det Klein of Marlboro, will take on our second seed, Steve Reno of Southbridge, with the right to meet our top seed for the championship, Joe Tavernese of Lynn, on this special edition of Channel Pin Double. everyone, I'm Brian Leary. If you were watching last week, you saw a one-pin match. Tony Marie Baldinelli winning the ladies' singles event by a pin, so the men have a tough act to follow today. They're shooting for a $2,250 top prize. In second place, the prize money is $1,500, and the third place prize money, everyone is guaranteed that today, just for appearing, $750. The normal prize money applies as well. Three marks in a row is worth $50. Three strikes in a row, an extra thousand, and a two-string total of 275 or more by our second or third seeds if they move on to the championship round would pay off an extra $200. So the second and third seeds will bowl here for the right to take on Joe Tavernis, and then we'll find out who the 1989 men's singles champion is today. So let's get on with it with the preliminary. Steve Reno, the number two seed against Dick Klein, the number three seed. Steve Reno now. Dead Klein opens with a spare. <clears throat> Almost. Steve Reno, the 1986 men's singles champion. And in 1987, he won the doubles championship with his father. His father, Harry Reno, bowled pretty well with a 13.27 in the men's singles championship this year. Still a uh, hundred pins or so behind his son, Steve. Dead added only three to the spare, so it's a quick four-pin lead in the first. Everyone here has some state championship experience debt the 1987 runner-up in fact the runner-up to Joe Tavernese who is our top seed today a couple of nines for Steve so far and so debt leads it by five Go? No. Dead averaged 143 in his 10 strings in this year's championship. A 1433 total ranging from 126 to 155. In fact, he had five strings greater than 150. Uncharacteristically for these guys, we're not getting a lot of marks. That Klein opened with a spare, and since then we've been markless. Steve with a 10 and 37. That Klein leads by five. a 
spare in the making. And there's another one. Dave Klein chasing just the seven pin. These bowlers fighting it out for the right to take on Joe Tavernese for the 1989 Men's Singles Championship. Worth $2,250. Nope, dipped into the gutter first, so that'll be a nine box. Steve Reno, though, gets his mark. So we'll take a look at where we stand halfway through the preliminary round. Depp Klein at 51, Steve Reno at 47, plus a bonus ball. We'll be back with part two of this opening round right after this. Here we go with the second half of the opening round now. Depp Klein steps in. And Steve Reno working on a mark. It should enable him to take the lead, and it does. Steve Reno now in the lead by two pins. Steve had a 1441 total in his 10 strings. Included in that 1441, a 187 in his second string. Steve Reno leads by two. At 62-60 through six. Reno seemingly has it going with two marks in his last three boxes now. 72 plus in the seventh to 70 for Depp Klein. On the spare. Hung it out a little wide, but still gets five. So with two to go, the lead is six pins. Steve Reno holds it. Steve Reno with a strike in the ninth. Well, Deck Klein does a good job to get a 10 out of that, but the strike pretty much finishes him off. 95 plus two bonus balls for Steve Reno. 89 for Deck Klein. So unless Steve lobs a couple of times here, he is going to move on.
had spares, but a little late. He opened with a spare, he closes with a spare, but in between, not much meat. Steve Reno spares on the strike. 115 plus. That just shakes his hands in disgust. That's pretty much how his string went for him. Steve Reno finishes up strongly with a nine on the spare and a 124. So after coming up with just 37 pins in his first four, Steve Reno marks in four of his next six boxes and as a result wins it by 22. There are the results. Steve Reno, 124. Dead Klein 102. So Steve Reno moves up to the championship round now to take on Joe Tavernese for the 1989 Men's Singles Championship. And we'll be back with that right after this. Championship now. Steve Reno. He finishes up at opening string with a flourish. And Joe Tavernese. start. Joe had a 1481 to lead everyone in the qualifying. Model of consistency. He didn't have a single string higher than 165 and he didn't have anything lower than 132. Looking here at two former NBA state singles champs, Steve Reno in 1986, Joe Tabernese in 1987. Tavernese at 27 plus, so it's a lead of at least 11. On the spare, a little wide. Steve missed a strong opportunity at spare in the first string, first box rather. Trying not to make the same mistake here. Needs only the 10 pin. And he's got it. Oh. Joe takes a 10. 41 to 26 plus. A little too full. Great, great bid. Joe Tavernese has made some wonderful spares and almost made one in the third. Three marks in his first four frames. 51 plus, a lead of at least 12. Get it. Get on, come on. 59 through four.
halfway through the lead is 19 pins. The top three made it here today, finishing fourth in the men's singles event. Brian Crowell, Marvin Cohen was fifth, Rich Pedroli sixth, Paul Berger seventh, Jack Ray eighth. All of them go in the sixth. Donald Santiago was ninth, and Bill Gardner, tenth. Tenth place was worth $100. First place, of course, $22.50. That's what these two guys are shooting for now. Joe Tavernese spears in the six. Four marks now for Joe Tavernese in six frames. Steve Reno knows he has to string a few of them together, down by 19 pins now. On the strike. Gets a break. Joe adds just three. With a spare, he's got it. And Steve Reno comes creeping back. Steve Reno is down by 11 pins, working on a spare as we move into the eighth, the final three frames. And another spare in the making. Steve Reno has two marks in a row. He's got some uncooperative wood down there, though. Got the six and ten. And he's got it. So things have changed and turned completely around. Joe Tavernis had a 20 pin lead just four boxes ago. Now the lead is one, and Steve Reno is going to change that right here. Steve Reno now moves into the lead by five. We're in the final two frames. This for the championship. And remarkably, a spare here could pretty much nail it down. Red Eagle, a little too wide. Now Joe is in a position here where he has to get as many of these as possible to have a decent shot with a spare in the tent. Seven hurts. 105. So he's got a mark and hope that Steve Reno does not. But he does, and he does in a big way. Steve Reno with a strike in the tenth. <laughs> Joe Tavernese with a spear in the tenth. But again, the only way for Joe here would be for couple of lobs, and that does not happen. That settles it. Steve Reno has won his second NBA State Singles Championship. Joe Tavernese finished with, with a 7 on the stair and a 122, put on a remarkable split display of marksmanship in the first four frames, but then cooled off in the back half. And finishes with 122, Steve Reno with a big finish. Marks in the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 10th, and a 132 to win by 10. Steve Reno, the 1989 men's singles champ. We'll be back with everyone right after this.
tonight against Steve Reno as the 1989 men's NBA singles champ. We'll talk to Steve in just a second, but first we'll say goodbye and congratulate Dead Klein, our third place finisher. And we have for you 750 bucks, and it was uh, kind of tough to get rolling, huh? Well, I just didn't have many breaks today, but that's, you know, that's the way the game goes. So sometimes it treats you good, sometimes it treats you bad. Okay, we were talking before the show that you finished second to uh, Joe in the 1987. Yeah. You, you, you still I find keep, yourself yeah, I, finding I behind him. I keep chasing him. him. I just keep chasing him. I don't know. One of these days I'll catch him, maybe. All right. Well, Deck Lyon, congratulations and thank you. And now Joe Tavernese, second place. Let's see, Joe, we've got... You probably know how much it's worth. Fifteen hundred dollars for you. Well, pretty fast start. You, you had problems with the head pin, but you made yeah. some beautiful spares anyway. I did. It was Steve Bowl good. It was a good match all around. Yeah, Just sure. couldn't get that head pin there. Still <laughs> feeling edgy, great. even up by twenty pins uh, through four. Uh, yeah, you have to in this game because you never know what happens. You know, just like Steve came right back. You know. We well, have another shot in the all events in a couple of weeks. So good luck then. Oh, thank you very much, okay, Joe Tavanese. Congratulations. And now Steve Reno. Steve, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this is getting easier. You won in 86, you won in 89, huh? Well, it's getting harder, I think. It's very hard. Joe's a good bowler. He put a lot of pressure on me at the Especially beginning. when you find yourself down by 20, right? Yes. I got a couple marks, and I looked over. Next thing I know, I was right back in the matches. Wow, I got a chance here. You know, a couple okay, we have $50 in bonus money, and we have $2,250. That's more important for winning this thing. $2,300. And... We have Al Serafin, the president of the NBA, to make our presentation. Al? Okay, it's a nice comfort behind win. On behalf of the 80-plus NBA members, I'm very happy to present you with this championship trophy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Steve Reno, congratulations. Al, thank you. Next week, we'll be back with the Ladies All-Events Championship. I hope you join us. For everyone here at Pilgrim Lanes and Haverhill, have a good afternoon now.